Hypothermia. Hypothermia is a life-threatening condition that may result in death. A drop in the core body temperature of less than 95 degrees Fahrenheit is below what is required for normal metabolism and bodily function. The normal body temperature is between 97.7 and 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature range is the same as 36.5 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. The body's thermoregulation mechanism adjusts to weather changes. Here is an example of how thermoregulation works. During extreme cold, the body will receive a signal from sensory receptors. This signal will travel up to the brain. The brain then sends a signal to the body to respond to the cold temperatures and attempts to maintain the core body temperature. This is necessary in order to provide the vital organs with the necessary heat to function properly. The brain will send a signal to the smooth muscle cells of the blood vessels of the skin and the skeletal muscles. The smooth muscle cells line the arteries and the arterioles. During cold, the signal from the brain causes vasoconstriction of the arterioles in the skin which allows the body to shift the blood to more vital areas of the body. Another signal from the brain goes to the skeletal muscles which quickly contracts them causing shivering that helps to keep the body warm. If the body is exposed to cold and the thermoregulation mechanism is unable to preserve the heat, a drop in the core body temperature will occur. As the body temperature drops, characteristic symptoms will occur such as shivering and mental confusion. Hypothermia can be mild, moderate, severe, or profound. Heat is produced by the muscles and by the heart as well as the liver, and this body heat is lost through the skin. The body heat increases two to four times more with contraction of the muscles from exercises or by shivering. Accurate core body temperature can be measured by a special low body temperature thermometer. Hypothermia may also be associated with frostbite. The symptoms associated with hypothermia depends on the degree of hypothermia. These symptoms include shivering, blushed lips and extremities, and the patient will have an altered mental status such as confusion or poor judgment. This is due to decreased central nervous system electrical activity. The patient may slowly lapse into an unconscious state. Having cold hands, feet, or skin, shivering and teeth chattering, or just feeling cold does not necessarily mean you are experiencing hypothermia. Only a core body temperature below 95 degrees Fahrenheit indicates hypothermia. Causes of hypothermia include exposure to low temperatures, alcohol use during exposure to the cold, poor clothing, trauma, swimming or diving into cold water, and heat is lost more in water than on land. And hypothermia may be seen in patients who perform outdoor sports such as skiing or mountain climbing. It may also occur with patients who have had a major surgery or excessive blood and fluid loss. Alcohol consumption increases the risk of developing hypothermia and it does not help with the symptoms. Alcohol is a vasodilator which increases the blood flow to the skin and extremities. Alcohol may cause the patient to feel warmer. However, consumption of alcohol increases the heat loss by vasodilatation. Elderly people are most prone to hypothermia. Elderly people are typically more fragile, lower in body fat content, and they are prone to a worse outcome if they have cardiac history. It is best to keep elderly individuals home and warm during these cold temperatures. Children are also susceptible to hypothermia. Children have a smaller size and less body surface area. A child's head is larger relative to the rest of their body and a lot of heat is lost through their heads. When outside in the cold, make sure to cover the heads of children. Paradoxical undressing. A large percentage of deaths occur when the patient becomes confused and disoriented they may remove their own clothing thinking they will feel better. 
When this occurs, it only increases the rate of heat loss and the condition of hypothermia gets worse. The heart rate may slow in patients with hypothermia. It may be difficult to find a pulse, so keep trying. Hypothermia increases the heart's need for oxygen and lethal cardiac arrhythmia may occur. Hyperthermia is different from hypothermia. Hyperthermia occurs due to elevated body temperatures that is present during heat exhaustion and heat strokes. When treating hypothermia, immediate action is required. Move the patient from water and to a safe place. Remove the wet clothing and wrap the patient with a warm, dry blanket. Do not massage the patient. Do not apply dry heat. Warming of the patient should be done gradually. Treatment at the hospital usually begins with warm blankets, warm IV fluids, warm humidified oxygen, EKG, and blood warmer. In conclusion, any drop in body temperature will make a person feel cold. If you begin to shiver during exposure to the cold, this is a point where you should get out of the weather and warm up. Prolonged exposure to the cold beyond this point can be dangerous and is not a good idea to remain exposed to these cold temperatures. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.